With its origins in the 17th century, the world-renowned New Orleans Mardi Gras has withstood the test of time. Acts of God, Hurricane Katrina pummeled New Orleans, and political meddling. French and Creole influences blended with a traditionally Catholic event to create a uniquely rich and colorful festival. We created the Mardi Gras Museum. There's kings and queens, Mardi Gras Indians, Cajun Mardi Gras, and we wanted to show just how diverse Mardi Gras is. Synonymous with mischief and masquerading antics, carnival balls combine traditional music and dance with outlandish and grotesque costumes, also paraded through the streets in raucous processions. The oldest item in the carnival collection is something that we were very fortunate to acquire just a couple of years ago. It's a ball invitation that dates to the 1850s. In 1856, the first society was formed aimed at formalizing New Orleans Mardi Gras parade. The way that we celebrate Mardi Gras now revolves around what we call the crew system. There are all these clubs that exist that are called Mardi Gras crews. Each society has its own identity, shown in the costumes worn by its secret members and based on that year's theme. I wear the mask because it is the tradition of carnival to mask, to hide one's identity. Every year a king and queen are crowned by each crew to host lavish charity balls and lead their respective parades, which run throughout the festival. It's part of the economy here too, it puts a lot of people to work, I mean, you know, to make a float like this you need carpenters, you, you need artists, you, you need welders, you need tire people, you need mechanics, it's a lot involved. A long-standing tradition, each crew throws gifts from their parade float into the expectant crowd. The lowest level is the standard throw. This is your bread and butter, always a crowd pleaser. Then are your branded throws, swatters, plungers, toilets, toilet paper, cups, doubloons, the kind of thing you'll put on your mantle and look at for years to come. Originally brightly coloured beads and doubloons, modern crews purchase vast amounts of plastic beads and candy for the hungry crowds, who collect as many as they can. In a sign of rare American bawdiness, men and women are goaded into exposing themselves in exchange for beads and other collectibles. What did you get this bead? Well, I had to show you some stuff. <laughs> Mardi Gras climaxes with massive parades and masquerade balls led by celebrity grand marshals, which has included Harry Connick Jr. What's up, baby? Anderson Cooper and Dolly Parton. Well that's all from us for this week. Don't forget to catch our daily bulletins throughout the week at Pink 60 News and join us again next time for more Pink 60 Entertainment.